this is a case of 64-year-old male with a history of descending thoracic rotation repair. The CT scan revealed a high-grade stenosis at the prior anastomosis with a graph diameter of 12 mm and high-pressure gradient. An anagraft alone would not achieve an adequate seal in zone 2 and risked exacerbation of the pressure gradient. The decision was made to proceed with hybrid approach with endograft stand placement in the zone of pseudoaneurysm and ascending to descending aortic bypass. The heart was arrested with a shot of 2 liter postural cardioplegia. The aorta was cross clamped and the patient was placed on cardiopulmonary bypass. The heart was lifted and the descending thoracic aorta was mobilized at the level of the diaphragm for approximately 5 cm. The partial occluding clamp was applied to the descending aorta. The aortotomy was made and the 10 mm graft was brought into the field and an anastomosis was made between the graft and descending aorta in end to side fashion. Then the graft was brought between the diaphragm and the diaphragmatic aspect of right ventricle in front of the inferior vena cava to the area of the ascending aorta. It was cut to the appropriate length and was anastomosed to the ascending aorta opening with 4-O proline in a continuous fashion. After that was done, the graft was deared, the clamps were opened and flow was established for the graft. Then the partial occluding clamp was applied to 10 mm graft, the opening was created and the 8 mm graft was anastomosed to the 10 mm graft and to side fashion. Eight millimeter graft was cut to appropriate length. Left carotid artery was divided between the clamps, and eight millimeter graft was anastomosed to left carotid artery. The grafts were deared and the flow was established via the new created anastomosis. Subsequently, a 34 by 30 by 150 relay and the graft was placed from the zone 2 to the mid descending thoracic aorta. On post-op CT scan, the repair was complete without end leak. The patient had an uneventful hospital course. This hybrid approach allowed us for the successful repair of a complex descending aortic pseudoaneurysm with iatrogenic characterization.